हेलो एवरीवन, आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल अगले सेम स्कूल्स। टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी कवरिंग चैप्टर नाइन ऑफ क्लास एट ऑफ साइंस दैट इज रिप्रोडक्शन इन एनिमल्स सो हियर क्वेश्चन नंबर वन से एक्सप्लेन द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ रिप्रोडक्शन इन ऑर्गेनिज्म सो द आंसर इज रिप्रोडक्शन इज अ वाइटल फिनोमिना ऑन दिस प्लानिट अर्थ which is essential for existence and continuity of life and species on it generation after generation for the question number 2 says describe the process of fertilization in human beings so the answer is in the process of fertilization sperms come in contact with an ova or egg one of the sperms may fuse with the egg the nuclei of the sperm and the egg fuse to form a single nucleus resulting in the formation of fertilized egg called zygot in human beings the fertilization takes place inside the female body known as internal fertilization for the moving to question number 3 which says choose the most appropriate answer part 1 says internal fertilization occurs so the options are number 1 in a female body 2 outside the female body 3 in male body 4 outside the male body so the answer is in the female body second part is a tadpole develops into an adult frog by the process of first part says fertilization second part says metamorphosis third part says embedding fourth part says budding so the answer is b that is metamorphosis for the third part says the number of nuclei present in a zygot first part is none second part is one third part is two or fourth part is four so the answer is second that is one for the question number 4 says indicate whether the following statements are true or false first is oviparous animals give birth two young ones so the answer is false second each sperm is a single cell so the answer is true third external fertilization take place in frogs answer is true fourth a new human individual develops from a cell called gamete so the answer is false fifth egg laid after fertilization is made up of a single cell so the answer is true Six amoeba reproduce by budding. So the answer is false. Seventh, fertilization is necessary even in a asexual reproduction. So the answer is false. Eighth, binary fission is a method of asexual reproduction. Answer is true. Ninth, a zygot is formed as a result of fertilization. Answer is true. And the last one, which is tenth. an embryo is made up of a single cell answer is false now question number 5 says give two differences between a zygot and a fetus so let's talk about zygot it is a single celled that is it contains only one cell whereas fetus it is a multi celled that is it contains many cells further let's talk about zygot second point of zygot is it is formed by the fusion of male gamete or sperms and female gamete or ova whereas fetus it is formed by a repeated division of the zygot further moving to our question number 6 which says discuss a sexual reproduction describe two methods of a sexual reproduction in animals so the answer is the mode of reproduction in which only a single parent is involved is called a sexual reproduction In this type of reproduction sex cells that is gametes are not produced and no fusion of gametes take place for the production of zygote or offspring asexual reproduction takes place in amoeba hydra yeast starfish etc there are mainly two methods of asexual reproduction first is binary fission second is budding so let's talk about binary fission In binary fission a single parent cell is divided into two equal individual cells as an amoeba it divides into two by division of their bodies each of them gets one nucleus and develops into a separate individual further let's talk about budding in budding 
the organisms develop a bulge called bud which further develops into an adult organisms and separate itself from a parent body to lead an independent life this type of reproduction is shown in hydra further question number 7 says in which female reproductive organ does the embryo get embedded so the answer is uterus now question number 8 says what is metamorphosis give examples so the answer is the transformation of larva into an adult involving sudden and abrupt changes in the body of an animals during the life cycle of an invertebrate is called metamorphosis for example frogs and butterflies further question number 9 says differentiate between internal fertilization and external fertilization so let's talk about internal fertilization first the fusion of male gamete or sperm and female gamete or ova occurs inside the body of a female partner such as human beings birds and mammals whereas external fertilization the fusion of male gamete and female gamete takes place outside the body of a female partner such as frogs fish and starfish again internal fertilization second part is the female partner lays either fertilized eggs or a fully grown young one whereas external fertilization the female partner discharges unfertilized eggs third part of internal fertilization is offsprings have a high chance of survival whereas external fertilization offsprings have a low chance of survival so guys i have covered all the question of this chapter in this video i hope you like this video and if you have any query or any doubt related to any of the question discussed please put your query in the comment section below for more such ncert solutions keep watching and do not forget to subscribe our channel agla same schools and do not forget to wear a mask and take good care of your health